Oh, yes. How's it going, everybody? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besieged Creation. So this week, I'm a little excited because if you can see this in front of me, this is actually a gift made by one of you guys. So I am so excited for this because, first of all, obviously it's a gift. That's that's exciting all in itself. But also, the person who made it actually has never bought in a video game before, and he said because of my Besiege series, he wanted to pick it up and just try it out. And he said he absolutely loved it. So I'm excited for this. He also suggested we should put a peasant on the top of it, so that's why I'm bringing this guy over here. There's a little hole here with a grabber in it, so I'm gonna try and put him in here, and then we're gonna see what this thing does. I have not opened it. I have no idea. Oh, shit. Okay, that wasn't the plan, so let's just pull that one out and get a new one, why don't we? <laughs> Alright, there we go. He's kind of stuck on there. Why is he sparkling? Are they... Have they... Is that new? Like, what is this? Okay, I've either never noticed that before, or that's something new. Anyways, he said to put a peasant on the top, and if we want to slow it down, of course we're gonna slow it down, because I have a sneaky suspicion. If this guy knows me well, he knows I like explosions, or something along that line. At least some sort of destruction, so... This should be good. I know it's a week early, by the way, but I just can't wait a whole week to open a present that one of you guys made for me in Besiege. This is way too fun. So, here we go. Let's open this thing up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't expect that. Oh, my God, he has his own little rocket system here. That was amazing. I, I expected a little explosion or something. I didn't expect rockets to come out everywhere and bring this peasant to a new world up here. Oh my god, is he is he gonna go all the way up to the roof? That was awesome. And it just makes me feel so good that one of you viewers decided to do this for me. So thank you so much for this gift. That was... I didn't expect that. And that was all vanilla, by the way. He hasn't done any mods or anything. And this was his first game he's ever bought. And so he's not even a video gamer and he decided to pick up Besiege to... Uh, Enjoy it like all of us. So thank you so much for that. Let's just uh, speed up time here and see what happens. He's probably gonna hit the roof. Oh my god, that actually exploded as well. All right, well that peasant went for a ride and he's probably dead now, but at least he went into the mountains. All right, just one more time at full speed. I just love how this thing opens. It kind of ravels itself open and it doesn't just explode open. You can see it just ravels itself downwards and that was just absolutely awesome. So thank you for that present often and let's keep moving on. Alright, next up we got two big engines and a little pod on the back. Yes, another pod racer, but this time it's a good one. It's been so long in Besiege, I've been looking for a real legit pod racer, and I think we found one here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, look at this thing. Not only that, he actually made it in tribute to me, so it just makes me feel a little bit better. You guys have been spoiling me this week, so thank you so much for this amazing creation. And just let me say, he's new to besiege building. Look at this thing. Look at how amazing this thing is. Let's start taking it off and uh, see how it does. Now it does lag. When it comes to physics intensive creations like this, it's going to lag. So let me actually slow down a little bit. I've already slowed down a little bit, but I gotta go even slower, unfortunately. And just look at how majestic this thing is. This looks like a legit pod racer. I mean, when it churns, he's churning as well. This is just so amazing. Not only that, there's a backstory to this pod racer that's absolutely hilarious. I recommend you go read it on the uh, Steam Workshop page because he, he becomes a pimp to make this thing. Uh, hence, I'm assuming the pink in the middle. It, it's just absolutely hilarious. Now, this thing also has a few simulations. Example, uh, an engine failure as well as a power coupling failure. So we can try and simulate some failures. But first of all, let's try and take this thing into the wall. So we do have a speed boost as well. I haven't tried this yet. So we're going to speed boost right into this. And I'm waiting for it. Oh, yes. Yes, so much yes. There's something about pod racer crashes that just, you know, tickles my pickle. Also, I don't know if you noticed this, when we churn, these flaps actually go up and it just adds some drag for the actual engines to churn. It's a really impressive system. Now, I think I have a sneaky suspicion how it works. There's probably some invisible um, ramps down here, and it's basically like kind of like a hovercraft, but it does look way more realistic than any other pod racer that I've seen. We've had a few that could actually fly, but a pod racer isn't about flying. It's about coasting on the ground, and this one does it absolutely fantastically. Now, I kind of want to just do... Kinda of like a small simulated crash. So what if we hit one of the engines into the mountains over here? All right, so if I speed boost, for example, and hit this little ledge, this might not be enough to break it, but we'll find out. Oh yeah, there, 
<laughs> we go, and I just got ripped that way. Oh my god. This pod racer, one of my favorite creations, bar none, in the last, like, three or four months. Okay, but like I said, there's a few simulations for crashes in this. First of all, let's try the power coupling failure. So here we go. There goes the power coupling failure, and all right, that one wasn't too bad. We just kind of split off, and we definitely did crash, but it didn't go as bad as I thought it would. And then the next one is simulation of an engine fire. So here we go. Oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> oh my god, I wish my PC could handle this. But my god, am I, 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 I'm, I'm so burning up. There we go. It actually did break the connection now, and that is just majestic. There's so many ways you can crash this thing, and each one of them is so impressive. All right, we're, we're going to try a head-on crash maybe into the wall as well, just because I want to see it. All right, wall should be here anytime, and this is going- Oh, there it is right there. That one actually wasn't as bad as I thought. We definitely did get some good damage going on, though. Let's uh, speed it up here and see uh, the damage here. Yeah, there's not much left to this thing. And it's even got first-person view, which is the coolest thing in a freaking pod racer, especially one that acts realistic. You can see, it really does feel like you're in a horse and carriage with big-ass engines on the front. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a crash here. We're not going too fast right now, but it's still gonna be <laughs> pretty damn impressive. I love everything about this. This is easily, like I said, one of my favorite creations. Uh, and the fact that he's only made, like, six other creations blows my fucking mind. The skill of some of these people is truly phenomenal and just like the attention to detail i don't know if you guys the engines on this thing I, I i know i'm fangirling over this one i don't often do this but it's just it's so impressive everything about this i love anyways i got a lot to show you guys today so unfortunately we have to end this one here i could have a whole episode just crashing this thing you know what let's try and at least crash it through the castle once just for fun all right, driving a pod racer in slow motion is not that easy because the turning isn't that quick, but we do have a good lineup here, and this is going to be great. I didn't realize how big this thing was until we're up at the freaking castle, but yes, right through it, no problem at all. There is the castle going down, and it always feels good when you destroy a castle in Besiege, so once again, we'll speed it up, and uh, yeah, there's not much left here. So thank you for this. Another tribute to me. I don't deserve... An amazing creation like this be tri being tributed to me, but I really do appreciate it. All right, can you spot the next creation? Because you probably can until, well, this starts happening. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, we got a flying tower. So let's see, can we possibly... Oh yeah, we totally got the loop here. This is a very heavy piece of machinery, by the way, but it's looking like we might be able to do a loop. I still haven't somehow hit the roof. Oh, God, yeah, we are so going down. Okay, I can't, I can't do a loop. Going down. <laughs> God. So, yes, this is obviously a creation that utilizes the main tower in this map uh, to fly around. Now, what's really cool to me is you actually have to break it off. You can see it wiggles a bit, and then it finally breaks off. And now, what I'm assuming is all the uh, actual blocks are invisible, so it's kind of just got, like, a flying block set up around it, but we can't, unfortunately, see that. But it does work remarkably well for being, a, I'm assuming, how heavy it would be. Uh, it can actually fly around. Unfortunately, I don't think you're gonna be able to do too many epic tricks with this one just because of the sheer weight of this thing But the fact that it can fly alone I mean it, it's going to surprise a lot of people that this thing can even go I think I just stalled it because I went a little too slow. Yep, we're going down So it's really fun. I mean obviously with something like this. Oh, oh, can we maybe push that totally up if I don't move this? So let's just try something Unfortunately, the engines going itself cannot rip this thing off of the ground. You actually do need to wiggle it a bit, and it's hard to keep this ball in place while doing that. But the fact that you can move it a little bit, that's pretty cool as well. All right, I want to see if I can go possibly in this. Oh, come on, come on. Lift up, lift up. Oh, shit. We were so close. This is definitely going to be possible. All right, so let's just... All right, slow and steady. There we go. Oh, don't, oh, oh, go, 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 go. Oh, my God. It's just so heavy. You're not used to the weight of something like this. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Lift up, lift up! <laughs> We're so close. I just want to do this little trick. I know it's hardly a trick at all, but with something like this, I mean, you can't really do much else. All right, here we go. Full throttle, keep it up, keep it up. Yes, this is it, this is... Oh my god! It's actually really difficult to get through that. Oh, yes! Oh my god! That was way too fucking difficult, but I finally did it. I kind of did a trick 
with a freaking tower. So not too bad. That was once again the, uh, I don't even know what this thing's called. The, the, the tower creation, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty interesting one, and it's pretty fun to fly around. And especially fun to crash. All right, and our next creation is a Mario-inspired marble machine. Now, if you don't know what a marble machine is, basically it has marbles going around it all the time, and the point of them is for the marbles to not fall off. Now, in this one, we're actually using Yoshi eggs, which is absolutely adorable to me, but I'm just curious how many are going to fall off, because this is like a pretty complex creation. So first of all, I gotta turn on the steam cannon, and that's all I have to do. So now we're just gonna join with one of these uh, Yoshi eggs and go around the thing and see what it does. All right, so the first part is obviously a step system going all the way up to the top, and it actually works remarkably well. Like, this is, this is a really impressive creation, and I'm just curious how many marbles will actually fall off. I'm not seeing any on the ground right now, so this thing might be the perfect marble machine. You never know. Anyways, we're almost at the top now, and it looks like we're going on a little Yoshi Egg Ferris wheel. Anyways, around the little Ferris wheel we go. It looks like, yes, there's a little spot that we're gonna fall into, and now we're gonna go through the tower. That is so cool. You see, it's actually utilizing parts of the tower as connections for this, um, this pathway that's going on here, and it's, got, it's actually going really fast. I'm impressed that I can't see any that have fallen off so far. All right, and down through the final part, and now we're on a little corkscrew elevator up to... Uh, that's a legit Ferris wheel. Look at this. Okay, what's gonna happen here? Oh, it actually goes to the next path. That's brilliant. This is so cool. I can't believe... None fall off here. Oh, there's one on the ground. So we did have one that did actually fall off. That, 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 that's too bad. Okay, and now we're waiting. Oh, is this actually slowed down so it's actually timed right? Oh, that is remarkable. Okay, so this should perfectly fit me. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I thought I was actually falling off. I didn't notice that bottom part. That is remarkable. This is so cool. Uh, oh, it actually bends them too? Look at this. It bends them to throw them off. Wow, this is, oh, is this the wrong way? No, it's not. I keep thinking I'm going the wrong way, and then it puts me on the right direction. Oh, shit, and now we're ramping over. Jesus, that's cool. And then up, back to the starting. That was remarkable, and pretty impressive that, we, I think I've only seen one Yoshi egg that has fallen off this whole time, and it takes a good few minutes to get around this whole thing. What I'm curious about is how do you get to, like, this pinball part? It's looking like, oh, okay, so this thing that churns, you randomly go down one path or the other. We went down this path, but you can actually go down here as well, and it looks like you need... Oh, yeah, you need enough eggs to knock this thing over, so let's wait here and watch this part as well. Okay, here comes the fourth egg. Will this be enough, or does it need to be a full inventory? I think it needs to be a full inventory, so we gotta wait for two more. Oh, yeah, the weight, though. The weight is getting pretty impressive. Yes, you can see it. Definitely one more, and this thing's gonna fall right over. Here she comes, and I guess we're all gonna do it at the same time. That's pretty cool. And there we go. Oh, that is so freaking cool. And I'm assuming this is where one of the eggs fell off, because I'm assuming the, the randomization of it uh, can impact it. Oh, shit, I forgot to turn on the thing. My bad. That, that was not the creation. That was me. And then we all go back up to the top. Truly phenomenal. I love this marble machine, and I love that you can go down multiple paths as well. Alright guys, and that's gonna wrap it up for another episode of the Best Besieged Creations. I hope you enjoyed another jam-packed week, and I just want to thank you guys for all the gifts you gave me this week. It was truly- oh shit, oh god, we're, we're going down as a bird! Okay, oh shit, this is- this is not how a bird's supposed to fly. Okay, damn, this bird's a lot bigger than I expected! Anyways, yeah, I thought I would show you guys another Ornithopter because it seems like everybody loves these things. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I will see you in the next one.